Birds are the best known class of animals, and since 1999, only five or six new species have been described each year on average. Recently, a joint research team from the National University of Singapore and the Indonesian Institute of Sciences made a quantum leap in the discovery of cryptic avian diversity by uncovering five bird species and five subspecies new to science. The team, led by Associate Professor Frank Wright from the Department of Biological Sciences at NUS, found the birds in three small island groups off Sulawesi, Indonesia. The islands are situated in Indonesia's Wallacea region, an archipelago at the interface between the Oriental and Australian biogeographical realms. Altogether, the birds make for the highest number of newly discovered bird species from a geographically limited area in more than a century. Let's go over these 10 bird species and explain what we know of them so far. Starting with the five new species, the Palang fantail is a fantail endemic to the mountainous areas of Palang Island in Indonesia. It can be distinguished from other species of fantail by the black scaling below its black breast patch, bright white throat, and distinct courtship vocalizations. Like the other nine species, it was described in 2020 and discovered in surveys during 2009 and 2013. It may be potentially threatened by deforestation and climate change fueled wildfires. The Palang leaf warbler is a species of old world warbler in the family Phyloscopidae. The species name is derived from Suara Merdu in Indonesian, translating as melodious voice, referring to the pleasing vocalizations of this bird. This leaf warbler is restricted to the highland forests of western Palang in the Bangai archipelago at elevations above 700 meters reaching the highest island altitude above 1,000 meters. The Taliabu grasshopper warbler is a species of old world warbler in the family Locustellidae. It is endemic to the island regency of Taliabu in Indonesia. It has a very small restricted distribution in a few square kilometers of a mountainous region of the islands. It can be distinguished from other members of the genus Locustella by its unique vocalizations as well as the fine dust speckling on its body, which increases towards the breast and lower throat. Unlike the other nine birds described in the study, its existence was not known to the locals on its native island, as its calls sounded more like an insect than a bird. Due to its very restricted distribution, it is potentially at major risk from wildfires and logging. The Taliabu mesomela is a species of bird in the honey eater family. The species was named after the village of Wahe on Taliabu Island, which is the gateway to the highest elevations on Taliabu, where it most commonly occurs. On Taliabu, it has been recorded from sea level to 1,300 meters, and it presumably occurs further up all the way to the highest elevation at 1,415 meters. The species inhabits forest canopy and edge habitat, and is a nectivore and frugivore, that has been photographed feeding at flowers. The Taliabu leaf warbler is a species of old world warbler in the family Phyloscopidae. It was named after Emil Samil, a former Minister of Environment of the Republic of Indonesia. It is found in the undisturbed montane forest of Taliabu Island from 700 meters up to probably the highest elevations above 1,400 meters. The species may also occur on the large neighboring Monholi Island. Now, let's move on to the five new subspecies. Unfortunately, I had a difficult time finding information about their traits specifically, so I'll just name them off and describe the species they relate to, if applicable. Here we have the Togian jungle flycatcher. Jungle flycatchers are all the species in the genus Voriella and seven species in the genus Cyornis. Other birds include the brown-chested jungle flycatcher and fulvous-chested jungle flycatcher. Here we have the Bangai mountain leaf toiler and the Sula mountain leaf toiler. Unfortunately, I couldn't find much over these birds. Here we have the Talibi snowy brown flycatcher. Snowy brown flycatchers are a species of bird in the family Muscacapidae. 
Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical moist lowland forests and subtropical or tropical moist montane forests. And finally, here we have the Taliabu Island Thrush. Island thrushes are a member of the cosmopolitan genus Turdus, one of the most widely distributed bird genera in the world. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are 10 newly discovered birds in the 21st century. Let me know what you think of this record-breaking discovery and your thoughts on the birds in general in the comments down below. And again, I did my best to pronounce the Indonesian words as accurately as possible, but I do apologize if I was incorrect at times. As always, I hope you were able to learn something new while having a good time in the process. If you like what you see and want more, consider subscribing and leaving a like. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.